Hey, Doug, I'm here, and it's a college football Saturday, and uh, if you watched the video yesterday, we gave you two winners, Miami and the under, so we're going to, uh, and those were free, and we're going to try and continue to do that in the NFL today, so we'll see if we can uh, pounce them out. Now, the not as much action in terms of actual line moves, just one new game to talk about, but uh, we had several from the other day on Wednesday, uh, so we have updates on all those, so we'll, we'll get right into those, and uh, yes, I am wearing an Arizona State hat, and no, I'm not a fan. Uh, when I moved here, what is it, 2003, I uh, thought I actually might become an Arizona State fan. Uh, thought, you know, because I'm, I'm here, you know, whatever, and I always sort of liked them. Uh, coming from the Midwest, uh, you know, the, the idea, the whole desert thing, and but just never really took a hold to them. So the, the hat I bought many years ago, uh, it's just a hat. Okay, nothing, nothing personal about it whatsoever. So, hey, let's get to some football. Like, oh, before I get to the football, actually, one thing I got to tell you, you consider becoming a Vegas Pro Insider Daily member. $39.99 a month is all it costs you. You get all of my plays, not just my top plays, but all of them, uh, plus super systems, in-season systems. Uh, got to just put some new NFL ones up this morning uh, to the current members. So uh, they got that. Wise Guys Plays. Got a ton of Wise Guys Plays in college football, actually, today. Uh, plus, you know, you get all that, $39.99 a month. Best deal there is in sports betting, period. Okay, so you have that. Let's go to some football. Jacksonville and the New York Jets is the latest entry, and that uh, total has come down from 40 to 38, as both teams played very well last week in uh, engineering upsets, and the betting public is of the opinion that this game is going to be lower scoring. But I don't think that's going to be the case, and here's why. I think the new Jacksonville offense that is designed to run the ball uh, with Leonard Fournette, I think they will have success against the Jets, and I don't think either defense is all that good, and they kind of make me... Yeah! On when I watch them play. So I like the fact that the Jaguars, when the line is three to three either way, minus or plus, and, and in between, they're 14 to five over. I think that's going to be the way to go. Play the over on that game. All right, let's go Let's go to some games that we had covered previously uh, and we've got the updates on. Now, Carolina and New England is the first game we're going to talk about, and that uh, total went up to, uh, from 47 to 49, and it's gone a little bit higher. About 40% of the books are now up to 49 and a half. Uh, I'm not crazy about going higher, but I still like the over. I think that's the way to go. About 80% of the betting public is on the over. The Dallas Cowboys are hosting the high-scoring Los Angeles Rams. Now, the Dallas has come all the way down uh, from minus 8 all the way down to minus 6. And the total has stayed uh, close. It's 48. It's about 48 and a half now. So you got, you got that. Um, I'm more inclined this game to like the over. I think both offenses will have big plays, and they certainly have big play potential. So I, I like that. But I don't, I don't like the idea of uh, Dallas going all the way down to minus six. Um, you know, the Rams worth, uh, worth a look, you know, at, at plus eight, but plus six, ooh, uh, coming off that key number. Uh, if anything, I'm just going to have a lean with Dallas on that one. So play the over is, is my top choice for that particular game. Tennessee and Houston, big uh, AFC South matchup, and Tennessee continues to rise all the way up now to minus two and a half in this game. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Plain and simple. Uh, Houston, in this situation, okay, now we know every, you know, they say teams have to win. Well, you know, and they don't always do that. But in this situation, I think the season, obviously the season's very early. A Houston loss puts them two games behind Tennessee. So being at home, they're going to get two and a half points here. I think the Texans are the right call on this one. Let's see. Let's go to the heavy hitting head buster game of the week. Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Ooh, this is always one of my favorite games. I love the physical play that these teams, uh, that they, how they play, and boy, they really get after each other. Just it's tr always a tremendous game. Pittsburgh has stayed at minus three uh, all along. The total a slight decrease from forty two and a half down down to uh, forty two and a half down to forty two. Uh, I think both of these offenses are struggling. Uh, I like the under. It's kind of a low number, but I, generally speaking, I do like the under, so I think that's the better way to go. Uh, as far as the side, ugh, I, I don't know. I, I've gone back and forth and back and forth. I'm just going to have a slight lean for Pittsburgh, and I wish I could even give you a good answer. Uh, the, the only reason I'm not on Baltimore is their offense is so pathetic. 
I just can't even begin to, you know, especially their passing game. I can't even begin to think how they're going to throw the ball in, in that one. New York Giants are going to be at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the line is held steady at minus three on Tampa Bay. But there has been one switch, is that the normal money, uh, um, uh, say spread value on this game is minus 110, and sportsbooks are attracting a lot of Giants money and have taken it to even or minus 100 in this situation. So that being the case, I think the Giants at 0-3, again, they have to win or their season is over. So I think the Giants plus the three are gonna is the right call. Finally, one more game. It's going to be out in the soccer stadium in Carson, California, where the Chargers are going to be hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. The total went from 40, uh, 46 and a half, oh, from 46 to 47 and a half. Stayed there all week. No changes whatsoever. I think both offenses are going to be in high gear. I think there'll be plenty of points, and I'm going to call for the total to end up in the 50s. So my play is going to be the over. So, hey, that's it for the NFL. Uh, if you go to the website on Sunday, uh, you can follow along. I will have the, uh, the public's top choices in terms of uh, tickets written. Uh, one, two, and three in each case, both the sides and total, so you can check that out. Otherwise, Doug Upstone for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. Looking forward to a very profitable Saturday and Sunday in football, so see what we can get it done. And because it's my son's birthday, we're going to be going out. So as of right now, I am out. <laughs>